If you're learning something new, overwhelmed with all the information out there, frustrated with your progress, and want to learn how to make consistent progression in your learning journey, this video is for you. My name is Ricky. I was a software engineer without a computer science degree who went up to principal engineer. I had to constantly reinvent myself and teach myself. And today I'll share the three top tips that I have for changing your mindset about self-learning that will help address those three points. If you're wondering why we're outside today, it's because I don't have enough time to go in and say and make a video. I gotta go get stuff done and uh, learn my own stuff. So we're just walking and talking. Okay, starting off with the first point here is that learning is a journey, it's not a destination. Just like exercise is a journey and not a destination. I mean, it literally just takes time. You learn something and when you're sleeping, your brain's gonna put these pieces together. That's something you gotta think about. It's not gonna happen in one session, maybe not two sessions. But if you accept that you have to take time, it's gonna be a journey. Now I know there's deadlines and stuff and we need to learn things fast sometimes, but that'll come in the third point. And we'll talk about how we can do that. Point number two is to learn to fail forward. And what that means basically is that things suck. We're gonna suck. And rather than think of it as like pass or fail, black or white, it's what can we learn from this and how is that going to uh, change in the future? How can we interpret that and make things better? For instance, I just started picking up YouTube again and I worked really hard on my last video. And I thought, oh, well, I put in a ton of effort into this and I'm gonna get a ton of views. I didn't get that, but instead of getting upset with it, instead of being frustrated, I focused on what I learned and how can I incorporate that into my new videos. I learned a ton. I'm accepting of this. It helps me get to the next point and not feel drained at the end of the day. I know that I'm getting better with each iteration. Do something, learn something, repeat. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna to get to where we're going and it doesn't mean that that's gonna be an easy process. So how do we do that? Which brings us to point three, which is goals help us get a roadmap, but systems are what get us there. What does that mean? Well, for instance, if I have a meeting or something and it's really important for me to clarify all the points, like it's a big shareholder meeting, um, then I need a system to make sure that I get to my goal. Let's say it's in one week. I'm gonna have a system that breaks things down into simple parts, for instance, maybe day one is outline and maybe a little bit of day two, right? Then day three, I need to flesh that outline out. Day four, I need to go ahead and refine all those areas and rehearse. Day five, again, let's go through and rehearse. Day six, seven, take a break. Monday, I go ahead and hit that meeting, right? I have this planned out so I don't have to just rely on my motivation or I don't have to spend all my my brain power figuring out what to do. And if I do that, I've met my objectives, right? And a huge tip here for when you set those goals is spend some time up front just planning for what you need to do, planning for what you need to learn and set that track, that roadmap for yourself. It's okay to spend maybe 10% of your allotted budget for learning on that. So we're not thinking about what we need to do, what's the goal and learn. Like every time we do this, we have a goal, that part's done. We set up our roadmap, that part's done. Let's just focus on learning. And that's it, just some micro learning for you today. Now remember, learning is a journey. It's not a destination. Oh shit, what else? <laughs> so let's recap here. Learning is a journey, it's not a destination. We want to fail forward, goals are roadmaps, and systems are gonna help us achieve those roadmaps. If you have any other tips, let me know in the comments below. Something that really links closely with this is breaking down complex problems for others, and I have a video on that. You can see it on screen. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.